Welcome to the first part of my Gran Turismo Sport Review. And I think I speak for a lot of longtime Gran Turismo fans when I say that this installment in the series is a bit disappointing. This is like the driving game equivalent of Destiny, or Destiny 2. A great game that plays well and looks good, but... There's only so much to do unless you play it with friends. Remember that long single-player campaign in the other Gran Turismo games where you collected thousands of cars and upgraded them and won all of the different races? Yeah, well, well, that's gone. And it's been replaced by online multiplayer. Which, to be perfectly honest, never really works all that well for driving games. Like, it's good if that's the only game you're into. Like, if you're serious about driving games, and you have the patience to get into it and meet the community, then yes, an online driving game is good. But if you're just diving into games quickly and getting through them, and, and you've only got so much time in the evening, online racing games are not the games for you. And what I always liked about the Gran Turismo games, in addition to the fact that they, they've always looked good and played well, is the enormous selection of cars and incredible tracks. And the diversity of tracks. And that's all, all gone in this game. There's a very limited number of cars, not that many tracks, and many of the, the classic Gran Turismo tracks. In fact, most of them are missing. And, and while it looks good and it plays well, and there's some new tracks that are good, and, and they're fun to learn and fun to drive on, like, the heart of Gran Turismo is missing from Gran Turismo Sport. That's not to say it's a bad game, I've been enjoying it. I like the driving part of it, I, I think it looks really nice. And it plays really well with my wheel. I miss the old Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo 6 was better. They've gone backwards. It's a different game, though. Clearly, they're going for the online multiplayer, which, you know, from what I've seen out there, by other people's comments, it wasn't the best decision for, for Gran Turismo. So hopefully the developers will hear this and do one of two things. Drop Gran Turismo altogether and focus on making another Omega Boost, which was like the greatest PlayStation game of all. Or, since it's been like 20 years and you haven't done that, how about just making another Gran Turismo like the ones you used to? Like Gran Turismo 2 was awesome. Sure, this one looks good. And I'm not going to tell you not to buy it if you want to get into the online multiplayer, which I'll show you later. I've been tinkering with it. It works well. It works fine. It's just, it's not what I want from Gran Turismo. I want to just sit down and obsessively collect skylines and put different wheels on them and win all of the championships. If you just want to play a single player racing game that uh, that looks like this, I'll, I'll recommend Assetto Corsa instead of Gran Turismo Sport. Assetto Corsa is actually a better game and Drive Club VR has a better VR experience. Gran Turismo! What happened? I just thought of the best analogy. This would be like buying a Sonic the Hedgehog game only to find out it's Super Mario Brothers. Wait, isn't that, what, isn't that what they are? I don't know. Never mind. That was a lousy analogy. Gran Turismo Sport is basically iRacing on the PlayStation 4, which is fine if that's exactly what you want, but I have a feeling that more people probably want that massive single-player just race through all the championships and collect a thousand cars experience that's missing even if the game looks and plays well, which it does. I'll show you some more of the online stuff later. I, I had to sit through two videos that, that taught me about sportsmanship. The second one was my favorite because it was it had a bunch of video, like a montage of video. Like, this is how not to drive. 
it's like they captured footage of me driving because that's exactly how I- It's a racing game, it's not real. Since there's no risk of actually crashing into something and exploding, why not run into things? Also, it would be better if the cars had chainsaws. Gran Turismo Sport. It's like Gran Turismo Prologue. Sort of. On PlayStation 4. Now excuse me as I get back to reviewing Atari games. That don't mistakenly turn into online games when I'm not looking. See you in part two where there are more good things to talk about, but I'm, I'm just annoyed about the online domination of my Gran Turismo series. I want it the way that I want it, which is the way it was in 1999. And bring back that uh, minivan with the, with the jet in it. That thing was great. The Game Room has been brought to you by Ultramassive Video Game Console Guide, Retro Mega Treks, How to Make a Video Game Review Show That Doesn't Suck, Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, Jesus the Coked Up Chicken, Pac-Man Collector's Guide, A Definitive Review, and Ultramassive, Volume 2, now on Amazon. Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a Turbo Volcano! Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.